Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new to the channel, my name is Veronica Burton and I am a 26 year old that lives in the Atlanta area. And this is just going to be a few days in my life. It's Monday. It is a super Monday and I'm feeling the Monday blues. We're gonna charge up our little cam. I have to edit some stuff right now for my dad. He, I love writing, you guys know that. He is submitting something that he has to write and I just love editing and writing. So I'm gonna help him out with that. And then we have a few errands to run. I just got back from a very exciting errand, but first let's make some coffee. That's what I get for trying to film this. Hey guys, so, oh man, my hair. I just got out of my laser hair removal, my last session. I'm so relieved. And uh, I'm just glad to not have to drive out here anymore just because it is gonna be a little bit farther of a drive soon. <laughs> just gave something away. But look at these lamps I got yesterday. Oh shiz. Watch me break them. The lamps, the shades are back there, but I got these porcelain lamps, Asian porcelain lamps with like a wood, no, with a bronze base for 40 bucks for the pair online. I found them, picked them up, snagged them, and these retail at probably, I looked at an average of 250 for the lower scale and they can go up to 675 for a really nice pair. So I'm gonna list them soon on the booth. And honestly, it's gonna be really hard not to keep these because I love, you guys know, I love Asian inspired decor to mesh with a transitional, traditional American vibe. That's just my thing. So I'm gonna get these listed on the booth. I also just went to the booth, as you guys saw, and picked up some stuff that I sold online for a friend's fiance's birthday. She liked what I saw and she's actually coming into town and she's gonna pick them up. Love that. But I just wanted to share, I got a bunch of products because it is my last time in here. You guys already know I've been using this, the Image Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. I really love this. I do think it's made a difference and I use it in the mornings. So I use this under my moisturizer. Image MD, the Restoring Facial Cleanser. This is my fourth bottle of this. It is so good and they have like a member price. So I definitely just stocked up to get a cheaper price option because they are a little bit more expensive online. The Hydrinity Skin Care. I've actually really enjoyed this. I got the Hydrate the antimicrobial cleanser. And it's a spray that you can leave on. You can literally spray it in your eye and it won't hurt. Don't do that. But it's made out of hyaluronic acid, which your body naturally produces. And it has antimicrobial agents in it. So it really helped me with my chin area. When I used it consistently, twice a day, every day, I mean, my breakouts in my chin kind of went away. So I, I'm obsessed and I got the pack because I want to try their serum as well. And then this one is on sale, Revision Skincare. I've heard really good things and it was on sale and I've used a few of their samples. It's the Hydrating Serum. So I got this as well. As y'all know, I am on the road for makeup free living and I've really, really enjoyed just being able to feel confident in my skin and a lot of it has just been trial and error and a lot of it is genetics like genetically my mom has great skin after her um, teenage years and my dad has great skin so please keep that in mind like genetics plays a big factor into your skin and also what you eat huge how much water you drink I know that's kind of overused it's like oh well water duh but you can tell like you can tell that you drink a lot of water and how hydrated your skin is by the elasticity of your skin and like its ability to just kind of look hydrated. Sorry, my car. And I just, I've realized that meshing all these efforts together has made the difference in my skin. Just slapping product on and still having a poor diet and not drinking water when I was doing that it didn't work, nothing worked. And just combining all my efforts um, and making slight tweaks, you don't have to like change your life. So highly recommend, but let's go to the gym. If you wanna check out these products, they are all linked below so you can just quickly access them.
All right, my counter is literally a hot mess, sorry. And there's my stack for recording, but quick grocery haul. Got some bread, some purely Elizabeth granola. It was BOGO, pistachios for a recipe. Walnuts, was they were BOGO, and I just like to eat walnuts by themselves. I got Fingerlin medley for some meal prep. I love salt and vinegar chips, and I don't know how much better these are for you, but they taste amazing. Got some organic almond milk. The reason I get this one is because it is much cleaner than the non-organic Califia. So as you can see, this really just has like three ingredients, which is great. And then we got some nut pods. They were BOGO, love that. These do have a little bit of filler, I'm pretty sure, but since I only use two teaspoons a day, I'm fine with that. But yeah, you can see there's some gums and stuff in there. So not completely clean, but I love it. So I'm willing to sacrifice a little. And then I got some blackberries, some cranberry nut mix. I have a lot of nuts, <laughs> lol, right now. But since these are sealed, I'm okay with storing these. Then I got some uh, produce over here. So I got some Brussels sprouts and asparagus for a meal tonight. Luke's grandma's coming over, so I'm gonna make these as the veggie side with some honey balsamic glaze. Dill for a recipe, some zucchini, some parsley and uh, um, cilantro. Then I got grapefruits are in season and I have started to like grapefruits a little bit more. So I got some grapefruits, some lemons, a butternut squash, and then an avocado. There's another one over there, another grapefruit here. Then some cuties, so some halos. Then I got some panko um, breadcrumbs for a recipe. Same thing with my pearl couscous. I think I already have some of this, but just in case I got another one because I eat it a lot and then some olives for recipes. So I'm doing an Israeli couscous recipe with some of these items and I will link the recipe below. Also, I totally thought this was an apple pie. It's a blueberry pie. I hope it's good, but I got this for dinner tonight um, with Luke's grandma. Since we're having a guest over, might as well have a pie. Hello everybody, it's post shower and we are drinking our little greens juice. I love this stuff, it is so good. I just love the greens and the reds and the probiotics all in one. So if you guys are interested, I do have a discount code with them, it's 10% off if you use Vero Burton. So it's also linked below. I am gonna get started editing this vlog and I just published a really cool vlog and if you guys haven't watched it go and watch it because i poured my heart and soul into this one and it is basically what i do to find joy in my day-to-day -day circumstances it kind of just dissects how i develop my mindset and how i continue finding joy in my day-to-day -day throughout every season of life and i make it kind of vloggy and there's so many clips just over the years that I have put into this video and it's really fun. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna, it's on my channel, it's also gonna be at the end of this video. But I also love the thumbnail and I feel like I've been a slacker when it comes to thumbnails. I've probably spent, on average, I'll spend 30 minutes to an hour on a thumbnail. This one took me weeks because I knew exactly what I wanted it to look like. And we had to wait till we were at the beach to take a picture and I had Luke running around the beach, literally in his suit and tie, taking pictures of me before we went to um, a banquet for his job. <laughs> but it was so fun and I have really enjoyed just making this video for y'all. And um, I wanna do more videos like this because I just, I enjoy this kind of video format, even though it's more intensive. So I think I'm gonna weave that into my vlogs as well. But anyway, I am now just gonna do some week planning, like planning for this week. I have a lot to do this week and it's gonna be very easy for me to get overwhelmed, but I'm gonna stay strong because that's what we do here. But all right, let's start planning this. Also, Facebook Marketplace, I am an addict. I'm actually addicted. So, mm -mm. 
I've been finding really awesome pieces. I've been finding really awesome pieces on Facebook Marketplace and I am obsessed with renovating or re refurbishing. And I found this piece. I hope he doesn't sell it before I go and pick it up on Wednesday because he wasn't available before then. And I am obsessed with it. And I want, it's a little buffet. It's doable. I can do it. I know what it takes. It's in pretty good condition. And I think I'm gonna be able to flip it. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, all right, let me edit it away. Also, Caitlin Byer, if you are watching this, I accidentally deleted your comment. <laughs> On my last video, I can't believe I did that. The video I just talked about, I went to pin it and it deleted because I something happened with the mouse. Like I didn't have control over my fingers and it went to remove and it didn't even give me the option to confirm. So if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to delete your comment. I liked it so much that I want to pin it and yeah. Ooh. But for those that are wondering what it was, she said it was one of her favorite videos that she's ever seen of mine. Um, so, y'all should go watch. Well, she took pictures though. <laughs> for that, I just don't know. Yeah. Hello guys, I'm sitting on the chair. The chair is amazing, y'all. Like, wow, 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 let's look at the detail. I have to call my grandma in a second, so I have to be fast. Do you see? Do you see the detail of this fabric? It kind of looks like animal hide, but it definitely is not. The chair is looking so good, y'all. All right, for those of you wondering where the heck I am, I'm actually in Luke and I's new house. <laughs> Luke and I, it's such a long story and I'm gonna tell it in a get ready with me vlog. I think that'd be fun if you've watched this far This is for the real ones, but uh, Y'all What what a time it's been With this house. This is the original house. This is the house we were under contract for in October a lot has happened and This is gonna be my furniture space down in the basement and as you can see, my refinished one is here. The lamps are here. The coffee table's here. I'm gonna photograph in this corner here for the website and such. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. I literally just hauled, this is the first pieces of furniture that's in the house this is my business furniture because I'm obsessed. Um, but yeah, a lot of story time coming soon, but 
Luke and I are moving. We are moving hopefully in April because we have some stuff we need to do to the house before it's moving ready. And then once we have it done, we're moving in. And also we have a lot of travel coming up for spring and we don't wanna just move on a weekend and then be traveling the weekend after or the weekend before or both. We'd rather move when we have a little bit of time under our belts so we can settle and run stuff back and forth to the house. And that way we can list our house in the spring. And the spring market's really awesome in Marietta. And there's like leaves on the trees when we photograph the house and such, so it'll be a lot better. Um, but yeah, y'all, big news, big, big news. I know I just kind of dropped a bomb on y'all, but we closed last week and it's kind of surreal being here right now. So very exciting and I'm about to call my grandma and then we're gonna go and do um, dinner together, me and Luke. So let's go. I've been running around all day long, literally all day. I went and picked this up. I had to help the tow truck guy, one of our vehicles, um, Luke's work truck, the battery was super corroded and we haven't been able to start it to even get it to the shop so i had to get a tow truck come and do that i went and picked up this chair i dropped off a couple of paintings to a customer and a pair of books and i've just been really crazy and i moved my furniture into this space and now i'm going to call my grandma and i think i'm going to go to the storage unit and cancel it because i have to go talk to the manager there i have to be out in a couple of days so i think tomorrow evening i'm going to move my stuff out of the storage unit and just move it into here because i'm done with that place <laughs> i'm done so yeah very exciting very exciting stuff i can't wait to show you guys the house i will do an empty home tour soon once things settle and i can have luke help me because he has to be the one that films me <laughs> all right let's go the end of an era goodbye public storage of marietta i can't say that i loved you but you did serve a purpose Hello everybody, it is now the next day and it is January 31st, the end of an amazing month of my life. And I'm just so glad that you are here with me and my cleaning products and my fly swatter. And we are currently editing this vlog. I'm honestly hoping to publish it in the next 20 minutes if I can get a thumbnail together. As I said, <laughs> me rushing my thumbnails, but for the week in my life and stuff, they're just a little bit easier for me to do a thumbnail. As you saw earlier, I made an amazing, amazing dinner for Luke's grandma and us to enjoy. I used all my Caraway products. If you guys don't know, I am loyal to Caraway cookware. I am loyal. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I've literally gotten oh, rid of the R pan or whatever, the always pan, um, because it was awful. It started sticking after a year. So Caraway cookware is where it's at. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys are interested in any of the products I talked about, especially the Caraway items, I have a 10% off discount code with them. And that's a big, that takes a lot, a lot of money off if you are purchasing like a cookware set because they are expensive. I've had them for, I want to say, say over two years now or coming up on two years and they're amazing um so i'm really excited to continue decking out our kitchen in caraway especially when we move anyway thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed please subscribe to the channel and i'm very excited to take you guys along on the moving journey on the home making journey i'm gonna be a little bit more strategic over how i curate this home coming up just because I have the time now and flexibility to designate the time and space that's needed to decorate and get a room ready 
um, and I'm gonna go room by room. So I'm not gonna do one huge project at the same time. I'm gonna go room by room and I'm starting with the master and then the living room and then my study. So, or the living and study might swap. I'm gonna do vlogs for all of those. So I'm very excited to take you guys along. If you guys are interested in anything in particular with the home journey, um, definitely let me know, especially if it comes to anything decor. I wanted to mention this. I am going to be doing a Q&A in addition to kind of telling you guys the story with the home that we just um, purchased. So I would love if you guys could drop comments and I'm also going to be doing a question box on my Instagram so you could ask some questions there so I can create the video for you guys. It's gonna be a get ready with me chit chat. I just love those kinds of videos and I hope that you do too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye friends.